Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. I am continuing with SharePoint online series and in this video we will learn about managed metadata service, how we can manage term set, how we can import term set and how we can assign term store manager role, group manager role and contributor role to the term sets. So let's start. So here this is my SharePoint admin center and here you will not find the term store. So you can go to more features and here you will find the term store. You can open it. And in term store, the three roles that you should be aware and you should know what are the roles. The first is term store manager who manages the whole term store. Second is the group manager who manages the groups of term sets. And the third is a contributor role which who is responsible for a particular term set. Now you see this is my taxonomy and here you can see the term store manager. If you have not assigned anybody as a term store manager, if you will go and see you will not be able to edit the groups. So here you can assign the term store administrator. I will assign to the test one. Test one and I can. So this is my test account. If I save it. So my test user is a term store manager. Now if I go. So it will reload. Now if I go on people you can see here I can create new import so I have the access now. Now here I have assigned the term store administrator. Now for this you can assign a group manager and then in a group for a, this you can assign the owners or the contributor role to this particular term sets. So this is how you assign roles in the term set. Now if you want to create any term Generally, uh, this term set we use for uh, site navigation purpose or any filtration if you want in a document library or in DMS. So anything for that we generally use these term sets. So if you have the hierarchy, you can click on here and view sample import. Now you can import the whole hierarchy of terms as well. So terms makes a term set and term sets make a group and a group make the whole taxonomy so these are groups in the groups there will be term sets and in the term sets there will be terms like I can in department term set I can create department department for and then uh, whatever I can description anything right and I can write it something d1 and I can save it so this is the whole taxonomy this is the group and this is the term set and this is the term. So based on that you can uh, uncheck it available for tagging. So this is very similar to what we have in on premises. But the one thing is here uh, if you want to import any term set whole hierarchy you need to you can download the sample from here and then you can see how you can manage it how you can prepare that whole hierarchy in a excel file it's actually a csv file so how you can prepare that whole hierarchy in a csv file and then you can directly import all those term sets so that it would be easier for you so you see this is how you have to manage term set term id this you need not to change because this is the header this is this is the header so this is how you do it and then I'll save this and I'll try to import it. So I'll save this. So this is already like downloaded. So I'll try to import it. So suppose here in a term set. I'll create one group. In I'll group I'll create one group and this would be my test group and from here I can import the term set so I click on this and browse and in the downloads you see in the downloads my CSV would be downloaded so I will directly import so you you can make the changes there and where is that term set here term set so I can click on open and then I can click on OK. So it will import all the term set. So whatever term set if you uh, you want to import, you can prepare it offline. 
using the csv template and then you can import it now you see this is the group this is the tom set and uh, in this you can find the terms so this is the hierarchy which is uploaded so this is how you import the tom sets it's very easy now uh, this is a new go to new term store so if you click on this a new ui will be there so so this is the terms it's similar add new term group from here you can add it add means here you can assign and then people contribute also same thing you can do it uh, this is my test group and i can delete it and i'll try to import the new uh, this so i can delete term set from here so you can delete it delete it so it's deleted and how you can import it you can click on this and then import term set from here you can import it this pop-up will come and then the sample it's there so if you want to download you can download it from here or you can browse it so the the functionality is same only the ui uh, in the new uh, ui is changed so you can browse it from here i think uh, this is not working correctly uh, currently but uh, once it this is ready completely uh, you can browse it and import it from here so this will be the he here from group manager you can edit it from here as well uh, similar to taxonomy if you want to the edit the admins you can edit from here and add and remove the users from here similarly from here contributors and group managers you can edit and from here so this is the new term store ui i think there are uh, some problems in the import is still under progress so i'm pretty sure that they might fix this once in few days or whenever you are watching the video this might be fixed already so this is the new ui delete term group import rename everything is there uh, import term set from here the same window will open so from here you can uh, it's very similar to the old ui but only uh, thing the functionalities are same uh, but this is the new ui so that's all from uh, my side it's similar taxonomy admins you can change and then the group managers you can change and edit from here and the contributors you can change it from here user setting navigations edit and advanced everything is there so you can explore more if you face any problem please comment in the comment section i'll try to answer those questions thank you so much for watching and please do like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much